Today we will be snow plowing on the wind chaser map in FS19. We will be plowing residential driveways using the brand new 2020 Chevy 2500 Silverado Duramax with the brand new Western Wideout XL snow plow. The focus for today is to clear all of our residential accounts. The town plows came by just about an hour ago and cleared all of the roadway. So now it's time for us to go out and get all of these driveways cleaned up for our customers. Before we head out, let's take a quick walk around here of this brand new plow setup. This is over $65,000, $70,000 between the truck and uh, the snow plow, which is pretty sweet. One of the first 2020 uh, Duramax is with a plow that I've seen, and I can't wait to really see how this does today. Now, we do have the bed cover on as well. We do have a few bags of salt in the back, and I don't know if we'll be salting today, but let's hop in the truck, and we'll first go over the controls here of this brand new plow. So, uh, a ton of detail to this plow left and right uh, we do have here with this, and also uh, we do have them able to slide out, which is pretty sweet and we'll slide out the other side so that's awesome I really do like that feature or transporting I do recommend kind of folding it in it's eight and a half with a foot and a half on each fold out as well but let's kind of head out and do our neighbors and then uh, do all the contracts I'm excited to be back here in FS19 doing some snow plowing. We now have this brand new snow plow which is very exciting and I have learned how to add plow uh, attachers uh, to all these trucks. We'll do lots of uh, upcoming trucks and things like that. I do want to get some uh, beacon lights and strobe lights here on this truck as well. Now I really want to push all the snow off to the side. I don't want to push it down the driveway just because uh, they definitely probably put some salt on the road and I don't want that all over. Uh, the customer's driveway. I hope everyone's excited for the winter season. It will be pretty cool uh, once we do get snow plowing fully set up. Now for the main setup, I think we'll probably just have it as wide as we can. That way we plow more and more, but the animations now in FS19 are awesome with snow plowing. Really do like it quite a lot. And a few tips I will have to say is I would only recommend having one to two layers of snow. If you have more than two, uh, any snow plow, even with any truck, will struggle. So that's just a tip of mine. And you guys can see we are, uh, seem to be plowing really good so far, making some big, uh, big snow piles here. I think like I touched upon getting a nice a small light bar for the top and then a few strobe lights would be a pretty uh, sweet uh, setup. We'll do this driveway uh, after this one. I actually want to get turned around just a little bit. Let's kind of fold that one out again and we'll do this one. I've done quite a lot of testing here with uh, snow plowing in 19 and we'll have to say the snow and the plows definitely are quite a lot better than they were back in uh, 17. Really excited about the new Duramax uh, with the redesign and it looks awesome. We're doing a very nice job plowing, pretty efficient plow truck I will have to say with uh, I would say almost 11 foot plow we have now with these wideouts. Awesome, that looks to be good. <laughs> really quick and easy, we could get these done. As you do get towards the grass, I do try to raise it up. That way we don't uh, kind of damage the grass, tear it up, rip it up. That's not a good thing uh, for the customers to replace. And more than likely, uh, almost all of these accounts we do uh, have contracts for to mow on with. If you have not already, I do ask that you subscribe to the channel and uh, turn on the post notifications. I post every single day here to YouTube. It's a great hobby of mine and great passion to upload every single day. And you guys have been awesome fans and supporters. And I can't wait to continue all of these uh, series here in Farming Slender. So many different things we've been doing lately. From heavy rescue to landscaping to snow plowing and lots more. It's been a lot of fun so far and I can't wait to continue it. 
I think today we'll probably do around uh, 10 uh, driveways or maybe a few less, but the goal is probably to do 10. One mod that would be a pretty sweet mod for uh, Snowplowing would be to get a shovel mod where we could pick up a shovel and actually do some uh, shoveling of walkways and even get a snowblower because this truck actually has ramps so we could put a snowblower in the back of this and that would be awesome. Great job by the Star Max here. Like I touched upon, two layers of snow is the best uh, amount to uh, plow with. This Western Star Wideout is pretty awesome. We really do like it quite a lot. And shout out goes out to its creators for it. It is only right now found on uh, a Facebook group. We'll do this one here. It's a pretty big driveway that we have to do. Now I am still learning the controls here to the wideout. They are a little bit different than our fishers that we previously ran even back in 17. Let's see if we can do it. Sometimes we do lose some traction and not too bad this time. Usually when I try to turn pushing quite a lot of snow, uh, we struggle quite a bit. If you guys want to see more snow plowing, smash the like button, and if you do have any cool truck ideas, let me know. I definitely want to do some public work snow plowing, different things like that. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer to the house. We'll lift it up just a little bit to gain that traction we need, and we'll keep going. Yeah, great job on this one. We'll do an, an extra one here to just to make it a little bit wider. Oh yeah, this uh, 2020 Duramax, no problem power-wise, pushing a ton of snow. Since we are going out onto the main road, let's get the uh, wide out folded in. It's a little bit easier, especially with 11 foot plow. It's a little too wide to cruise down the road with, and we'll raise the plow all the way up. Now for these plowing videos, I do probably want to uh, do different things, maybe use two trucks in the same video. So if you do have any ideas for what we should do with that, let me know. But up next, we'll do this one here. We'll get uh, that kind of folded out. Now I don't want to kind of turn it, just fold it out enough to give us that extra width. Now some of these controls are actually the opposite of what the Fisher was, so it takes a minute or two uh, sometimes, especially when we're so used to running one type of plow for a uh, number of months. Pushing quite a lot of snow here, and no problem at all. I think it's time to fold one side in. That's such a cool feature about the wide outs is each of these wings are uh, pretty unique and each have their own controls. We have to push the snow back quite a lot. Let's kind of see how the Duramax will do. No problem pushing it. I really do like how these plows do also roll uh, the snow over that looks so cool as well, those animations. The longer the driveways, the more uh, the truck and the plow work, and that's kind of what I've noticed. They do uh, not the best on these big, long driveways, but so far, I mean, not too bad, I will have to say, making some big, big uh, snow piles here. few tips for snow plowing. You don't really want to ram into the uh, piles. That's not too good on the frame of the truck. And you want to come to a complete stop and then go for it. That also helps out on the transmission. Plow trucks get worked quite a lot and a lot of wear and tear does happen uh, because of the snow plow, especially uh, just going up and down. That's a ton of weight on the front end. And uh, I, I do like snow plowing, but if you have a brand new truck like this, it is a bit more of a ownership uh, wear and tear than like towing a trailer would be. 
but these trucks are designed to work and they do a great job and so much snow we are pushing here I'm not sure how we'll be able to really clean this up that well the look of the new uh, Duramax does look very nice I can't wait to really see some out on the roadway uh, they have just now been hitting the dealership lots and it's cool that we get in and farming some later uh, before it comes out on the roads that's also neat This western plow has quite a lot of detail, which looks so, so nice. If you have not already, I do recommend you go over to Instagram and check me out. I do post daily uh, sneak peeks, pictures, so many cool things over there. And it's a lot of fun uh, to interact with you guys on Instagram as well. Let's see if we could clean this up a little bit better, and it is tricky, I will have to say, using a new plow for the first time. Oh yeah, there we go, that's good, and the homeowner really doesn't have to shovel too much, which is definitely a good thing. We'll do one or two more driveways here and then we'll call it a day. This here is a little trickier with uh, the roadway and you guys can see once I lift up the plow just enough, uh, we just kind of power right into the snow pile there. So that's something I do want to try to work out to be a little bit more realistic, but we've been doing a great job so far. Now we are here on the Wind Chaser map. This is actually my edit of the map. I added roughly uh, 40 to 50 houses and uh, commercial properties to it, and I really do like it so far. This is a great map. I've always really liked this map. This was actually way back in uh, 15. I used to play on the map as well, so that's pretty neat. that looks to be it so let's kind of head back over to the house and we'll actually get the plow disconnected and just kind of showcase that because this is one a pretty sweet plow Today was a very busy day doing all these residential driveways. I do have plans to do lots more commercial ones using the Bobcat skid steer and also uh, different front loaders and other heavy uh, equipment that is used for uh, those applications. But we have arrived back here at the house and really quickly we'll just kind of get the uh, western drops and disconnect that way we could wash the truck in. I just want to kind of showcase this. We'll get it backed up. You guys can see great setup for today. One of the first times I've seen a 2020 Duramax go out plowing snow and you guys can see one awesome western plow. So hope you guys are excited for all of the upcoming snow plowing videos and other videos here on the channel. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.